So right now, let's make the third episode for this uh, English part learning, and uh, let's beginning make some review and go over the previous, you know, English part. So first part is about the road trip. So there are some phrase and the words like, um, "Are we all ready to go?" No, and uh, munchies, munchies, and snacks. Still again, snacks, Legos, Pringles, or something. And munchies, and uh, the man said, "You know, fill up the tank, fill up the tank." You know, put petrol in the car, and uh, it's all set. Everything done, everything ready. It's all set. And another phrase, you know, we got. All of our bases covered. We got all of our. We got all of our bases covered. We got all of our bases covered. We got all of our bases covered. No, it also means everything's ready. And、uh, okay, let's get going. Okay, let's get the job done. Let's get means start something and then pit stop. Pit stop. Pit stop. Pit. Stop. pit. Stop means、uh, stop. You know, along the when you're driving the highway, along the highway or freeway, just stop for resting or stop go and stop. No, to go restaurant or something. Pit stop. Okay, and the next and the okay next the second podcast we now we I、uh, learned about the virus, computer virus. You know that beginning that means computer. The guy computer froze, you know we can see our computer is freezing, you know so it's just not working, you know like when the computer froze, or we can see our computer is acting up, is acting up also means out of order. The computer out of order also we can not everything we can TV is acting up. You know, you know, like appliance, everything you can see, our fridge is acting up. It's out of order. You know, some problem. You know, acting up, and also we can, you know, about that say, ah,、oh, what is? I'll be right up. I'll be right there. I'll be right down. I'll be right out. You know, I'll be right. So I'll be right, and then up to date. You know. So I will keep the information up to date. Those news or something not up to date means it's out of date. It's out of date. You know we have to keep our mind up to date. Date. You know keep something. If you out of date, you can't. You cannot compete. To you know in this fierce world, you know this up to date. It's、uh, any other words we learned last、uh, podcast, you know. I can I can't I remember the ran a scan virus scan you no know, software, you know, keep the up to date,、uh, and don't the cake and something. Oh, I think that's all, you know, for that one, you know, cut to date. And so today, now this, you know, podcast、uh, we are going to talk about. Is、uh, what that one, one minutes? Let me open that one. Okay. Oh, about the names. You know, about this a a a small story and one guy. You know, forgot. You know, other people's name. It's embarrassing. Yeah, I. You know, this、uh, happened a lot on me on myself. You know, you know on me. You know before. So around here. I think you know that means you know, just one woman and a man met on the street, and、uh, they actually they had a meeting you know one weeks ago, and、uh, this woman, and this woman still remembered the name of that man you know so it's just the man named Snake so the woman just talk about wow、well, we have a very great talk and discussion about some foreign invest you know last week in the meeting. And、uh, something like this, and the woman and the man, the Nick, uh, was in a bit of hurry, so it's no time to talk about talk something. So he gave his card, business card, to this woman, but he forgot that a woman asked. Actually, the woman asked him whether if he remembered 
her name, the man that I'm sorry I was uh, you know, embarrassing that uh, I embarrassing that uh, your name slipped my mind slipped my mind that means uh, he forgot her name slipped my mind and uh, the woman said wow you just are uh, you around are you living around here or do you live around here you know because you know because he met this uh, she met this guy you know i think around her home you know near close to her home you know but the guy said no i'm I didn't. I don't live here, but my company is right around the corner. So it means just next to the in the at the next street. I just around the corner, around, right around the corner, or right here. So okay, my home is right around here. My home around here. Or my home is right around the corner. Or my company is right around the corner, you know, like that, you know, right here, or right there, you know, right other, right around the corner, right that, you know, I live around uh, Los Angeles three years ago. I lived around uh, Los, Man Los Angeles uh, three years ago. I live around the Winnipeg right now, you know, about that. So, also the man said, okay. In a bit of hurry, he said I'm in a bit of hurry. Before I think I had it in a hurry. So in a hurry. Oh, we can use in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. I don't have time, you know, to talk. I don't have time to stop here, you know, for that. But here he used in a bit of hurry. I think also the feminine meanings, you know, in a in a bit of hurry. So that means uh, if uh, I'm if I'm in a bit of hurry, but I don't have time to help you, I don't have time to talk to you. So maybe we can talk next time. We can help you next time. Like this, I'm in a bit of hurry. I'm sorry, I'm in a bit hurry. Can we talk next time? Or uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, I'm in a bit of hurry. Okay, this is my card. You can call me later. I'll call you later. I'm in a bit of hurry. I'll call you back later. Uh, like this, I'm in a bit of hurry, and uh, also. Talking about the contact details, you know, the, the woman asked, asked Nick, do you still have uh, my contact details? Contact details, you know, that means uh, uh, telephone number, email address, or positions, or something, you know, something information you already mentioned in the business card, on the business card, the contact details. Contact details, contact details. Okay, sleep my mind. Uh, yeah, this is very good idiom. So something, sleep my mind means, you know, I forgot, forgot something, you know. So your name slept my mind. So usually I think this use uh, past tensions, you know. Your name slept, slept my mind, you know, for that one, you know, just as it means I forgot your name. You know, your, la your name slept my mind. So I'm sorry that day, you know, that it slipped my mind. I forgot, uh, you know, for that, so, you know, some anniversary or festival day, you know, something, you know, for that, I slipped, I slipped that thing, something. Let me, something, something sleep one's mind. Usually we say sleep my mind. Oh, that slipped your mind. It means you forget something, okay? Uh, something sl slip, something sleep, sleep my mind. Something sleep my mind. Uh, something slipped my mind. I forgot something. Something slipped my mind. I forgot something. Okay. If somebody asks you, if for example, if my wife, my wife asks me to, you know, actually to buy some grocery. When I back to on the way back to home, but I forgot, you know, after I arrived at home, my wife, do you buy the grocery? Oh my sis, it slipped my mind. It slipped my mind. It means I forgot it. It slipped my mind. Okay, and I last just said, you know, that uh, woman, that man said, oh, it's embarrassing. I forgot your name. But the woman said, okay, that's fine because. Uh, I am terrible with name as well. So I'm terrible with terrible with means bad at you know something you know. So here that means I'm 
bad at remember the name to memorize the names. You know, terrible ways. Also, you can use in many ways. Um, means I I am terrible with mathematics. I am terrible with numbers. So that means you can <laughs> you know be same nearly same thing. You're terrible with mathematics. I'm terrible with cooking. I am terrible with. Uh, Spotting or uh, or something like you can many things you can use a terrible means not good at it means bad at something you know a uh, terrible with something that means a uh, terrible I'm terrible with uh, I'm terrible with writing English you know I'm terrible with English writing no I'm terrible with English writing really I'm still struggling you know I'm still struggling how how to write this. Weeks homework, but I think I will figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you know, just uh, find a good idea how to write it, how to cook up, how to make up these stories. Not about that, you know. So, uh, here we just make it again around here. I live around here. How is it going here? Also, oh, they forgot this. How is it going? But I know that. How is it going? I try to use more. You know, how is it going? How is it going? Like in, you know, how are you doing? How's it going? You know, what's up, man? <laughs> you know, like that. What's up, man? How is it going? And uh, right around the corner, right around the corner, right around here, right around here, around, around, around. It's all around here, okay? In a bit of hurry, in a hurry, in a bit of hurry, I'm in a bit of hurry, okay? And the contact details slip my mind, terrible wave. Terrible with our oh, terrible with names. I always I can't. Remember. I always forget the names. You know of some acquaintance. You know for that. You know some of my acquaintances. You know name. You know. Okay, this is my acquaintance with you. Acquaintance. Can I use this one? Anyway, this is finished.